this is uh, Stalham. Another magnificent Norman church in this case. Now if you go somewhere and you don't know anything about it, a good place to start is the church. Another good place to start is the tourist information office, of course. Or the internet before you leave. But in this case I'm trying the church. though at the back here as well as the um, memorial uh, nave chapel whatever at the back to the the walls if you want to buy a magazine you can do so you know, and books and things pay whatever you feel like paying from the First World War, deaths in the Second World War, including two civilians. This is the font which, prior to restoration in 1864, was sunk into the ground, but it had been marked well fine. I don't know how old it is, it's, but clearly by the dress it's medieval. It says here that there's more medieval churches in Norfolk than anywhere else in the world. 659 of them. I presume it's taking similar sized areas to Norfolk. There's quite a lot in Italy. But maybe not in areas similar in size. Wonderful name for a, a pub on the broads, the Grebe. Cute old post box. Post office, I should say. Post box was not that old. Now, our Broadlands tender fried chicken. What? What's the point of going to Kentucky when you have Broadland? This is for me uh, what the Norfolk Boards is all about and, uh, and these cute houses, probably coming up very dark. The remnants of the canals Kind of remnants is the right word because in, in some ways I think the, the broads are being formed constantly. Uh, the broads are not natural. Uh, they were prob probably, I don't know, they were probably created uh, from digging of peat for use as fuel. This has happened, well it's been happening since the Roman times. And uh, with the sea coming in, this may have been the reason for the creation of the broads. I mean, the amount of uh, fuel that was being used, for example, at Norwich Cathedral, just the cathedral alone, was using 320,000 tons, a third of a million tons of peat per year. In the, uh, in the medieval times, I presume that was for heating. So. Uh, So that is part of how it actually 
and got started. One thing, I can film it and you can see how nice it is, but yeah, you can't like the, the, the smell, the air. It's got this wonderful um, feeling to it. Must be, must be from the asphalt, uh, from the roads are building down there. So that concludes my first visit to Stalham. Um, I know that I'll be here again. And I've got to say it's a very pleasant place to come to and uh, thoroughly recommended. <laughs>